Is innovation always a good thing? Not necessarily. While some new innovations have the potential to change everything, they often come with their own set of concerns and uncertainties. The first example is the new AI tool that will end programmers' jobs. Devin, the first AI software engineer. Is set to be the next major disruption in the field of artificial intelligence and software engineering. This innovative tool, developed by Cognition, is designed to handle the entire software development lifecycle autonomously, from writing code based on prompts to detecting and fixing bugs and deploying apps. It can work with multiple programming languages, making it a versatile asset for various coding tasks. Devon AI's early demonstrations, including its ability to handle coding requests on platforms like Upwork, have sparked discussions about the future of human coders. And Devon continues to do this until Devon understands how everything's working and actually then updates the code. According to SWE benchmarks, Devon AI can solve nearly 14 of every 100 coding challenges set for it a number that analysts expect to grow as the platform learns from previous work. This impressive performance highlights Devon AI's potential to revolutionize software engineering, aligning with predictions that AI will play a significant role in the field's future. As NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang states, the programming language of the future is human. And that the programming language is human. Did you see OpenAI in Figure One's masterpiece? I, I think I did pretty well. It's an AI robot that can speak like a human being and learn independently. This robot is pretty smart. It can recognize things like a red apple and figure out where to put dishes after they're used. It can do all this by itself using its special brain called a neural network. This means it can make its own decisions and do stuff based on what it sees and hears. And when it talks, it sounds just like a real person. It found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. The robot can move quickly and accurately, just like a human. It can even remember things from the past. Even though it's still learning to walk faster, it's made a lot of progress in just 18 months. But what if this robot will record your conversations and share them? Or what if it's programmed to perform dangerous or unethical tasks, such as spying on people or engaging in illegal activities? And what if the robot's ability to learn independently leads it to adopt behaviors that are not aligned with its original program. These are some concerns that need to be addressed as we continue to develop and integrate such advanced robots into our lives. Have you heard about the new gene editing technology? Scientists are harnessing the power of a groundbreaking technology known as CRISPR-Cas9 to edit the genes of plants, animals, and humans. This innovation holds the promise of eradicating diseases correcting genetic mutations that cause severe illnesses, eliminating food allergies, and ensuring a stable food supply for our growing population. For instance, researchers are conducting experiments to correct a gene mutation responsible for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a devastating condition that leads to early death. Promising results from experiments on mice and dogs suggest that we may be on the brink of developing effective treatments for humans suffering from this and potentially other genetic disorders. However, the ability to edit genes that can be inherited by future generations comes with significant ethical concerns. The permanent alteration of the human genome raises questions about the long-term implications of such changes. While most European countries have banned germline editing due to these concerns, it remains legal in China and the United States. As we continue to explore the possibilities of CRISPR-Cas9, the public debate around the ethics and implications of this technology is likely to intensify. Next is Elon Musk's latest breakthrough. Neuralink implanted a chip into its first human, Nolan Arbaugh, who was paralyzed after a diving accident. This makes him the first to receive a brain chip implant. During a live show on X, Musk's social media platform, Arbaugh shared his story, saying the chip has greatly improved his life, though it's not perfect. Before human trials, Neuralink tested the chip extensively on animals, sparking criticism from medical ethics groups like PCRM. Bliss Chapman, an engineer at Neuralink, joined Arbaugh on the show. During the show, Arbaugh demonstrated the chip's abilities by playing chess on a laptop using only his thoughts. Before, he needed help to enjoy video games like Civilization VI, 
but with the chip, he can play for hours in bed, though he needs to recharge it occasionally. Arbaugh said using Neuralink is like using the Force in Star Wars to control a computer cursor. Integrating technologies like Neuralink's brain chip into our lives raises several concerns. For example, there's the worry that sensitive brain data could fall into the hands of advertisers or insurance companies leading to privacy issues or unfair treatment. Bias in AI algorithms might result in some patients being overlooked or receiving biased care. Relying too heavily on technology could diminish the importance of human medical expertise. Additionally, the lack of transparency in AI systems could make it challenging to understand or trust the decisions they make. Have you heard about robots powered by GR00T? You should as it runs on a disruptive technology. These robots are being developed to understand human language and mimic movements by observing our actions. They quickly learn coordination, dexterity, and other essential skills, enabling them to navigate, adapt, and interact effectively in the real world. During his keynote at the GTC event, Huang, the founder of NVIDIA, showcased several of these robots successfully completing various tasks. Imagine robots powered by this technology being used in sensitive environments, such as hospitals or schools. While they could revolutionize caregiving and education with their ability to learn and adapt, there are concerns. What if they misinterpret a critical instruction in a medical emergency? or inadvertently teach incorrect information to children. Number five, killer drones. The idea of killer drones might sound like something from a movie, but it's a reality. Groups of drones powered by AI are now capable of identifying, tracking, and destroying targets without human intervention. For example, researchers at a Chinese university have developed a swarm of drones that can track humans through dense forests. Similarly, Halcon, a subsidiary of the UAE's Edge Group, has unveiled the Hunter 2S, a swarming drone system that can share information to track and engage targets. These drones offer a cost-effective way to overwhelm enemy defenses without risking soldiers' lives, but the potential for misuse and the ethical implications are alarming. Number four, quantum computing. Quantum computers are groundbreaking machines that promise computing power a trillion times greater than today's supercomputers. This leap in technology could bring huge benefits, but it also poses a significant risk to our security systems. Traditional encryption methods used to protect personal, military, and commercial data could be easily broken by quantum computers. As a result, corporations and governments are now investing in post-quantum encryption to safeguard our most sensitive information against these future threats. Up next, we have NVIDIA's generative AI microservices that are creating wave. There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. But beyond their technical prowess lies a troubling reality. NVIDIA recently introduced over two dozen healthcare tools powered by AI aiming to revolutionize global healthcare. These microservices, adaptable across different cloud platforms, include NVIDIA NIM, which accelerates drug discovery and improves medical imaging. While they offer promising advancements in healthcare, their integration into various platforms for drug discovery raises ethical concerns, particularly their role in crafting specialized AI agents, like Hippocratic AI sparks debate over privacy, accountability, and the potential for bias in medical decision-making. And the new Sora, while promising, could swipe jobs, leaving many more people than we thought unemployed. With its prowess in generating realistic content, like images and videos, Sora might fuel the rise of deepfake technology. These fakes blur the line between truth and fiction, causing chaos and confusion. Moreover, Sora's immense power in manipulating data raises privacy concerns people's personal information could be at risk of exploitation or misuse. Additionally, reliance on Sora may lead to the death of critical thinking skills, as distinguishing between real and fake becomes harder. Scientists have developed nanobots, which are tiny robots at the nanoscale, capable of entering our bloodstream and even bypassing the blood-brain barrier. While these nanobots hold great promise for medical applications such as taking samples, transmitting data, and delivering drugs, they also pose significant risks. In the future, nanobots could be used to transmit human thoughts or even be weaponized to target specific individuals or groups, potentially rewriting their memories. 
The privacy implications are profound, especially in a world where devices are increasingly interconnected. Ensuring strong regulation and oversight is crucial to prevent abuse and protect our medical data and personal thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out one of these new videos. I'm sure you'll find them interesting too.